how to make your own hand sanitizer. No pural, no problem. When disinfecting gel cells out everywhere, you can just make some yourself with stuff you, maybe, already have at home. Table of contents. 1. Scrubbing your hands is best. 2. General equipment tools to make it. 3. General steps to make it. 4. The quick, gel, recipe. 5. The better spray, recipe. 6. Dr. Rishi Desai recipe. 7. Jagdish Cup Chandani recipe. 8. WHO recipe. 9. Tips for DIY hand sanitizer. 10. Is DIY hand sanitizer safe? 11. How to use DIY hand sanitizer. 12. Hand washing versus hand sanitizer. 13. The bottom line. Part 1. The best ways to stop COVID-19. When it comes to preventing the spread of infectious diseases like COVID-19, nothing beats good old-fashioned hand washing. According to CDC report, properly scrubbing your hands is one of the best ways to stop the spread of germs and viruses, and to ensure you don't get sick yourself. But if you do not have access to soap and clean water, or if you are out and about and nowhere near a sink, you should carry hand sanitizer to protect your health. But if water and soap aren't available, your next best option, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, trusted source, is to use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Unless you have a stockpile of store-bought hand sanitizer, you will likely have a hard time finding any at a store or online right now. Due to the rapid spread of the novel coronavirus, most retailers can t keep up with the demand for hand sanitizer. As you are no doubt aware, bottles of hand sanitizer Purell, wet ones, and the like, sell out quickly during public health crises. But don't worry, making your own hand sanitizer is remarkably easy. You just have to be careful you don't mess it up. Make sure that the tools you use for mixing are properly sanitized, otherwise you could contaminate the whole thing. Also, the World Health Organization recommends letting your concoction sit for a minimum of 72 hours after you are done. That way the sanitizer has time to kill any bacteria that might have been introduced during the mixing process. We actually have 5 recipes for you, along with links to find the ingredients. The first is one you can make with stuff you likely already have in your cabinets and under the sink, so it is effective in emergency situations. The second recipe is more complex, but easy to make if you have the opportunity to do some shopping and planning ahead of time. Another note, a lot of these items are quickly going out of stock because of high demand. There is a higher chance of finding them at your local drugstore, but your first priority is to stay indoors. The good news, all it takes is three ingredients to make your own hand sanitizer at home. Read on to find out how. Part 2, General Equipment Tools to Make It Measuring Cup Measuring Spoons Whisk Empty Spray Bottles For WHO Formulation, Empty Lotion or Sanitizer Containers for gel formulation. Part 3. General steps to make it. Time. Literally 2 minutes. Estimated ingredient cost. $15. Makes 3.5 cups, or 15 of those little 2 ounce bottles. Difficulty. Easy. 1. Gather your ingredients. Make sure you have everything there. 2. Mix ingredients. Add all ingredients together. Follow recipe instruction below. 3. Pour into your bottle using the funnel. Carefully pour your DIY hand sanitizer into the bottle of your choice. Screw the top of your bottle on tight, and label them. Part 4. The Quick, Gel, Recipe What ingredients do you need? Making your own hand sanitizer is easy to do and only requires a few ingredients. Isopropyl alcohol aloe vera gel and essential oil, such as tea tree oil or lavender oil, or you can use lemon juice instead. Mix 3 parts isopropyl alcohol to 1 part aloe vera gel. Add a few drops of tea tree oil to give it a pleasant scent and to align your chakras. The key to making an effective, germ-busting hand sanitizer is to stick to a 2, 1 proportion of alcohol to aloe vera. This keeps the alcohol content around 60%. This is the minimum amount needed to kill most germs, according to the CDC. In addition to adding fragrance to your hand sanitizer, the essential oil you choose may also help protect you against germs. For example, Thyme and clove oil have antimicrobial properties. If you are using antimicrobial oils, only use a drop or two, since these oils tend to be very powerful and might irritate your skin. Other oils, such as lavender or chamomile, may help soothe your skin. Tea tree oil is antimicrobial. A couple of drops may be added to the recipe, but it is important to note many people are sensitive to this oil, even when it is diluted. Part 5, The Better Spray, Recipe. What ingredients do you need? 
Making your own hand sanitizer is easy to do and only requires a few ingredients. Isopropyl alcohol glycerol or glycerin hydrogen peroxide. Walmart also has it in some stores. Distilled water spray bottle the aloe mixture gets the job done. But aloe also leaves your skin annoyingly sticky. So, here is a recipe that is less sticky and more potent. Based on the mix recommended by the WHO, mix 12 fluid ounces of alcohol with 2 teaspoons of glycerol. You can buy jugs of glycerol online, and it is an important ingredient because it keeps the alcohol from drying out your hands. If you can't and find glycerol, proceed with the rest of the recipe anyway and just remember to moisturize your hands after applying the sanitizer. Mix in 1 tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, then 3 fluid ounces of distilled or boiled, then cooled, water. If you are working with a lower concentration solution of rubbing alcohol, use far less water. Remember, at least three quarters of your final mixture has to be alcohol. Load the solution into spray bottles. This is Enta Gel. It is a spray. You can wet a paper towel with it as well and use that as a wipe. If you must, you can add in a splash of essential oil to your concoction to make it smell nice. Just don't to use lavender. Everyone else uses lavender, and your sanitizer is superior. Part 6, DR. Rishi Desai Recipe, as Chief Medical Officer of Osmosis, and a former Epidemic Intelligence Service Officer in the Division of Viral Diseases at the CDC, says that the hand sanitizer recipe below will kill 99.9% .9 of germs after 60 seconds. What you will all need, 3-4 cup of isopropyl or rubbing alcohol, 99%, 1-4 cup of aloe vera gel, to help keep your hand smooth and to counteract the harshness of alcohol, 10 drops of essential oil, such as lavender oil, or you can use lemon juice instead directions. Pour all ingredients into a bowl, ideally one with a pouring spout like a glass measuring container. Mix with a spoon and then beat with a whisk to turn the sanitizer into a gel. Pour the ingredients into an empty bottle for easy use, and label it hand sanitizer. Part 7, Jagdish Cup Chandani Recipe, as Ph.D. Associate Professor of Health Science at Ball State University, shared a similar formula. His hand sanitizer formula combines two parts isopropyl alcohol or ethanol, 91% to 99% alcohol, one part aloe vera a few drops of clove, eucalyptus, peppermint, or other essential oil. Part 8, Instructions for the WHO Hand Sanitizer Formulation. Ingredients 1 cup of 99% isopropyl alcohol 1 tablespoon of 3% hydrogen peroxide 1 teaspoon of 98% glycerin 1 quarter cup, or 65 milliliters, of sterile distilled or boiled cold water. The WHO has a comprehensive guide on how to make your own hand sanitizer. The only problem is that if you follow these instructions, you will end up with a lot of it, like, exactly 2.6 gallons of it. If you want to make enough to last you, your family, and all your friends through a zombie apocalypse, you definitely can. But if you want to keep things on a smaller scale, we've adapted the measurements for you. 1. Pour the alcohol into a medium-sized container with a pouring spout. The percentages on the labels of isopropyl alcohol refer to the alcohol concentration in them. You are dealing with almost pure alcohol if you've got 99.8%, whereas 70% means the bottle is only a little more than two-thirds alcohol, and the rest is water. Note. Some formulations have tried to adapt these proportions to use 91% isopropyl alcohol or even 70%, but these alcohol concentrations will render a final product that no since he comply with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's recommendation of using hand sanitizers with at least 60% alcohol to fight COVID-19. 2. Add the hydrogen peroxide. 3. Add the glycerin and stir. This ingredient is thicker than both alcohol and hydrogen peroxide, so it will take some stirring to combine everything. You can use a clean spoon for this or, if your container has a lid, you can put that on and shake it well. 4. Measure and pour in the water. Measure one quarter of a cup of distilled or boiled cold water and add it to your mix. Stir. 5. Sanitize your spray bottles and pour in your hand sanitizer. Spray some of your leftover alcohol into your bottles and let them sit until the alcohol has evaporated. Pour in your sanitizer. 6. Label your bottles. You don't want any accidents where you or anybody else ingests your newly made hand sanitizer. Take the time to label your bottles. Go kill some germs. Part 9. Tip. If you are making hand sanitizer at home, PLS do adhere to these tips. 1. Make the hand sanitizer in a clean space. Wipe down countertops with a diluted bleach solution beforehand. 2. 
Wash your hands thoroughly before making the hand sanitizer. 3. To mix, use a clean spoon and whisk. Wash these items thoroughly before using them. 4. Make sure the alcohol used for the hand sanitizer is not diluted. 5. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly until they are well blended. 6. Do not touch the mixture with your hands until it is ready for use. 7. You are going to need some alcohol. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, your sanitizer mix must be at least 60% alcohol to be effective. But it is better to get way above that. Aim for a minimum of 75%. A bottle of 99% isopropyl alcohol is the best thing to use. Your regular vodka and whiskey are too wimpy in one tea cut it. 8. Hand Sanitizer Recipes including the one below, are intended for use by professionals with the necessary expertise and resources for safe creation and proper utilization. Only use homemade hand sanitizers in extreme situations when hand washing ISNT available for the foreseeable future. Don't use homemade hand sanitizers on children's skin as they may be more prone to use them improperly, leading to a greater risk of injury. Part 10, Is DIY Hand Sanitizer Safe? DIY hand sanitizer recipes are all over the internet these days, but are they safe? These recipes, including the ones above, are intended for use by professionals with both the expertise and resources to safely make homemade hand sanitizers. Homemade hand sanitizer is only recommended in extreme situations when you are unable to wash your hands for the foreseeable future. Improper ingredients or proportions can lead to lack of efficacy meaning that the sanitizer may not effectively eliminate risk of exposure to some or all microbes skin irritation, injury, or burns exposure to hazardous chemicals via inhalation homemade hand sanitizer is also not recommended for use with children. Children may be more prone to improper hand sanitizer usage, which could lead to greater risk for injury. Part 11, How to Use Hand Sanitizer Two things to be aware of when using hand sanitizer is that you need to rub it into your skin until your hands are dry. And if your hands are greasy or dirty, you should wash them first with soap and water. With that in mind, here are some tips for using hand sanitizer effectively. Spray or apply the sanitizer to the palm of one hand. Thoroughly rub your hands together. Make sure you cover the entire surface of your hands and all your fingers. Continue rubbing for 30 to 60 seconds or until your hands are dry. It can take at least 60 seconds, and sometimes longer, for hand sanitizer to kill most germs. What germs can hand sanitizer kill? According to the CDC trusted source, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that meets the alcohol volume requirement can quickly reduce the number of microbes on your hands. It can also help destroy a wide range of disease-causing agents or pathogens on your hands, including the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2. However, even the best alcohol-based hand sanitizers have limitations and do not eliminate all types of germs. According to the CDC, Hand sanitizers want to get rid of potentially harmful chemicals. It is also not effective at killing the following germs. No revirus cryptosporidium, which causes cryptosporidiosis. Clostridium difficile, also known as C. diff. Also, a hand sanitizer may not work well if your hands are visibly dirty or greasy. This may happen after working with food, doing yard work, gardening, or playing a sport. If your hands look dirty or slimy. Opt for hand washing instead of a hand sanitizer. Part 12, Hand Washing versus Hand Sanitizer Knowing when it is best to wash your hands, and when hand sanitizers can be helpful, is key to protecting yourself from the novel coronavirus as well as other illnesses, like the common cold and seasonal flu. While both serve a purpose, washing your hands with soap and water should always be a priority, according to the CDC. Only use hand sanitizer if you soap and water ISNT available in a given situation. It is also important to always wash your hands after going to the bathroom after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing before eating after touching surfaces that could be contaminated. The CDC lists specific instructions trusted source on the most effective way to wash your hands. This is what they recommend. Always use clean, running water. It can be warm or cold. Wet your hands first, then turn the water off and lather your hands with soap. Rub your hands together with the soap for at least 20 seconds. Make sure to scrub the back of your hands, between your fingers and under your nails. Turn the water on and rinse your hands. Use a clean towel or air dry. Part 13, The Bottom Line Hand sanitizer is a handy on-the-go way to help prevent the spread of germs when soap and water ISNT available. Alcohol-based hand sanitizers can help keep you safe and reduce the spread of the novel coronavirus. 
If you are having a hard time finding hand sanitizer at your local stores and hand washing ISMT available, you can take steps to make your own. You only need a few ingredients, such as rubbing alcohol, aloe vera gel, and an essential oil or lemon juice. Although hand sanitizers can be an effective way of getting rid of germs, health authorities still recommend hand washing whenever possible to keep your hands free of disease-causing.